uh, tonight, I'm going to take my family. We're going to eat at the same restaurant where I sat down with my kids and told them I had cancer. Uh, haven't been there since. Uh, it didn't go well. It was a really, really hard night. We were actually coming together to celebrate because I was pretty sure that the doctors would tell me that I had a clean bill of health. Uh, I was wrong. You cannot predict your future. You can't control what's coming your way. Uh, but you can be prepared. You can be battle ready, which is why this is the closing chapter. Because I, I don't have to know you or what you've been through or where you're at to know that there are battles ahead. There are challenges, there are struggles. Uh, but there are giants to slay and dragons to kill. And you may not know when they're coming or what they are going to look like. And you have no way of predicting how deep the wounds will go, what kind of scars they'll leave. So you just have to be battle ready to realize that life uh, is full of challenges and hardships. But at the same time, it's, it's in those challenges and in those hardships that we discover um, one, that God can be trusted with your life. But two, that there's more in you than you thought. That you're stronger than you know. That um, underneath all the fear, there's actually courage to be found. That these are the moments where it's no longer talk, it just becomes real. It's no longer an idea or a belief. It's just who you are. And I can tell you that in the midst of all of this, what I discovered was that Jesus was everything he ever promised he would be to me. That he was uh, the source of hope and strength, of comfort and, um, and courage that I had always hoped he would be. And I, I know this. Nobody wants to face these kinds of challenges or these kinds of struggles or hardships. But if, if my battle gives just one person the courage to face their battle, then it was worth it. Because how will we ever know how much is in us? How will we ever discover the strength that God has placed in us? How will we ever know the courage that is waiting to be awakened within us, the hero that is waiting to be awakened within us, if God doesn't trust us with the great battles. There are giants to kill and dragons to slay. And frankly, I don't want to hear the stories. I want to live them. I want to live on the front lines. I want to take up my sword, my shield, my bow, my arrow, and when it's all said and done, when all the dust is settled, I want to know that I've walked the way of the warrior, that I've lived this life well, that I left nothing, nothing undone, that I've lived my life without regret, and that in the midst of the battle, that was battle ready. So that's my last question. Have you been running from the battle? Have you been overwhelmed by fear? Have you not trusted that God is everything he said he is and will be to you? Let me tell you, Jesus stepped into his own death, took on his own suffering, took on the cross and the brutality of that instrument allowed his body to be broken his blood to be shed so that you and I would never fear the darkest moment so that you and me that we would know that every cross will be overcome by an empty tomb so let's get ready let's take a deep breath let's step into the battle because I want to promise you 
you are battle ready.